Hi, I'm Dave Dunbar with General Pipe Cleaners. Thanks for tuning in. You know, the Genii devices that we have now, many of them come with Wi-Fi inside, allowing you to use your device, your smartphone, your tablet, so long as you're either Android or Apple-driven, iOS, so that that can become the monitor. And you can actually make a recording and upload to, let's say, YouTube or Facebook or something right from your device. And that process is as easy as one, two, three. We're going to talk about it today. So behind me, I have a couple devices. I have the Genii Prism. It's unique because it doesn't have a monitor. It has a cradle where you can put your own device. This is set up for a tablet, but we have smaller ones for smartphones as well. This attaches to whatever reel that you might have already and allows you to use Wi-Fi in the day-to-day -day application of drain cleaning recording. So you have to use your device, be it a tablet or a smartphone, again, either Apple or Android driven, in order to become the monitor for that unit. We also have the SD units, the SDW and the SDP. Both have Wi-Fi inside. You can see a screen here and you can make an SD recording or you can use your own device in order to make a recording and upload. Okay? Again, we'll talk about how to set all these up so that it's more convenient for you. So we said this was as easy as one, two, three. So what's the first step? The first step would be to download the free app yeah, so that you can actually utilize the Wi-Fi signal. To do that, we're going to start off with an Apple device, an iPad that we have right here. We're going to download the app from the Apple App Store. And then go to the search function. And type in My Cam Pro. That's M I. And put a dash. C A M P R. Oh, and search. And there it is, first one that comes up. Once we download the app, then you're going to have to put in your iTunes or Apple password in order to authorize the free download. Then, once you open the app, we have our own password, which we make very simple. You can change it later, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's all you have to do. Go through the process of downloading that. and then open. Go back to your screen and make sure it shows up as an icon and a place that you'll recognize and be able to get at easily. Okay, so you've seen how easy it is to download the app on an Apple device. Let's show you what it looks like on an Android device. Now on an Android device, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, instead of using an app store, you're going to go to Google Play. Google Play might be a place that you've gone to download things in the past, apps, music, things like that. Go to Google Play and do the same search, looking for the same app, M-I-C-A-M-P-R-O. When you find it, download it. It's a free app, same as before. Now you don't need any other password for that function. Just when you open the app, it'll be the same as what it is for the Apple device. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's show you how that works. First of all, open up your device and find the Play Store. It's Google Play. You've probably already used this to download apps and music. So open Play Store. And then go to the search function. And put in MyCam Pro, the same as you've done before. M-I-C-A-M-P-R-O, no gaps. And it should be the first one that comes up. Open that and go through the process that you normally go through in order to install an app. So you let the app install. And then go back and check to make sure that the app is in a place that you know where it is. So it's convenient for you. So when you're using the Gen I device, you can open it up without any searching. So that's the end of step one, downloading the free app into either an Apple or an Android device. You've seen how easy that is. What's step two? Step two is 
finding the Wi-Fi signal. It's being transmitted by the Gen.I device and being able to find it on your device, on your smartphone or pad. Now, the ST unit, as long as the unit's on, the Wi-Fi signal is being transmitted. Okay? For the prism, we'll turn that on. Again, as soon as it's on, the signal is being transmitted. So the next step is we want to find it on your settings. And for continuity, we're going to go with the Apple device first. And we're going to get into your settings and look for Wi-Fi. First, open up your settings. Go to Wi-Fi and check your available options. You might be on Wi-Fi or you might be in an area that doesn't have Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. You'll notice one of the options that shows up starts with GSW. That's the signal that's being generated or transmitted by your Gen.I device. Click on that. Now the first time you do this, it might ask for a password. The password is very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll just ask for it the first time. Once you have a check mark on that transmission signal, then you can back out of your settings and you can open up the app that has MyCam Pro. Now you're going into step number three. Step three is putting everything together and then customizing it for your device to make sure that you can optimize the power for, for what you do day to day. So when you have the Wi-Fi and you've already downloaded the app, open the app and we'll take a look at how we customize. Now when you open the app, you should have the picture show up. Whatever the camera head is viewing should show up. Now in order to customize it to make sure that that happens, you can go into settings. Again, any password that you encounter along the way, the password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now that will give you some options. Go to camera settings and press that. Now in camera settings, the frame rate should be 25 FPS. So make sure that you've touched that. The video setting should be on MPEG-4. Press that. And it should be on VGA. Make sure that those are all checked and press Done. Notice that when we come back, the picture is there, everything is fine. Okay. So if you want to make a recording, just press the Record button. An icon will show up on the bottom left with a timer on it. And if I wave my hands in front of the camera a few times, and press the same button again to end the recording. If I want to play that back, press the playback. Pick the file that is the one you want to play back. And it will play it back. There's my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. Okay. If you want to make a still, just press this button right here. Again, if I get my hand in front of the camera and press the still button. To find that picture, just go to wherever you store photos in your device. Go to your photo cache. On a camera roll. So let's say I wanted to send this to somebody. I can upload it, I can send it as a text, as an email, an attachment, I can put it to any number of different places per your convenience. So let's do this now from an Android device. First of all, let's go on and find the Wi-Fi. Hit your settings button on Wi-Fi and look for available Wi-Fi signals. You're going to find something that starts with GSW. The number after it's going to change depending on your device. But press that and connect. Now, if it asks you for a password, remember the password is 12345678. If 
probably only asked for that once. You can go back and open up the app that you've already established and installed on your phone. And there it is. Now the function buttons over here are exactly the same as what's on the Apple version. So everything that we did on that version of the unit will work on this as well. And things are stored to your photo and video cache the same as they are on an Apple device. Everything else is the same. So it's just that easy. Easy as one, two, three. If you have any questions, feel free to call the Drain Brains at 800-245-6200. Or you can go to our website, drainbrain.com. There's a lot of information on there as well. Thanks a lot for using General Equipment, and have a great day. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.